Good morning guys and welcome back to my channel. Today I am super excited because I'm going to be sharing with you my thoughts on my first ever cupcake from the House of Siage. I am so excited. You guys know that I have been wanting a House of Siage fragrance for so long and I just didn't know which one was the right one for me and I'm super pumped because it just feels like a dream come true to be able to share this one with you guys and yeah so let's get into it and if you're new to my channel make sure that you are subscribed and that your notifications are turned on because I will also be reviewing the entire line from the House of Siage, their signature line, as well as their Whispers collection, the Harry Potter collaboration, Minnie and Mickey Mouse, all of that stuff. So do make sure that you are subscribed if you're not already. And if you have a favorite House of Siage fragrance, also comment down below and let me know what it is. I'm always curious to know which ones people are wearing. So with that out of the way, let's get started in today's video. All right, guys, good morning. I hope everybody's having a really nice Tuesday. And today I'm super excited because I'm gonna be sharing with you my first ever House of Siage cupcake. And if you guys watch my channel, you know that getting a cupcake fragrance from House of Siage has been on my wish list for such a long time. And unfortunately, I don't live close to a counter where I can go and experience all of these perfumes. So it's taken me quite a bit of time to finally be able to get samples and travel sizes and things like that and actually experience um, from the House of Siage so that I know, um, knew what fragrance was gonna be right for me. And something that I will tell you guys is that I'm so glad I didn't blind purchase based on reviews. I think that that is a trap that I have gotten into as somebody who has gotten really into perfumes over the last couple of years is instead of like going and getting samples and making my own decision about perfumes, I would watch videos about, you know, the top five of House of Siage and I would then end up making a blind purchase based on what got the most hype, what got the best reviews. And honestly, you guys, I so recommend getting a travel size or a sample pack or something like that before you commit to a full bottle because based on notes and based on reviews, I would have blind purchased totally the wrong one for me. Not that any of the House of Siage ended up that I didn't like them. They have some really incredible fragrances. My point is I would have probably blind purchased Whispers of Truth or Benevolence. And while those are a couple of my favorite from the house, the one that was right for me, the one that spoke to me the most, you know, the one that I kind of fell for and absolutely just loved and wanted a full bottle of, was neither of those two perfumes. It was something completely different and I never would have purchased this based on just reviews and notes alone. So I'm really glad that I had an opportunity to try all of the samples from the house and kind of wear them all and determine for me what would really work for me and what was my favorite. So yeah, so in today's video, I'm going to reveal to you my first ever House of Siage cupcake. I am so excited. It's absolutely beautiful and let's just get into it. All right, and here she is, you guys. So this is Tiara and I think this is one of the first ones, if not the first fragrance that was released for women from House of Siage. And this is a perfume that admittedly doesn't get a lot of hype. I've seen a few people talk about it. I've seen it pop up on a few review um, videos or like best perfumes from House of Siage as an entirety. This one did show up on that list, but it's so hard to know what a perfume is going to smell like until you actually get a sample and wear it. And you guys, this is the one that I just completely fell in love with. So before I get into the scent, I do want to give you a close up of the bottle. So it comes in this absolutely beautiful cupcake that is made of super high quality glass and super high quality materials. And it's also adorned with a whole bunch of Swarovski crystals. The cap is super reflective, so you can really see literally a reflection of everything in the cap. And it's just absolutely stunning, and it does say Tiara on the top, and it has the beautiful Swarovski crystals surrounding the name of the perfume. And then the bottle itself is sort of this ombre color effect. So it starts off clear, and then it goes down to this really beautiful blue ombre effect on the bottom. And it says Tiara on the bottom and just looks like an absolutely exquisite cupcake. So I will be honest with you guys, definitely I was drawn to this house because of the bottles. I mean, I think that's part of the prestige, that's part of the appeal. It's sort of like driving a car. Yes, you want the motor and the engine to be good, but you also want the outside of the car to be beautiful as well. And I feel like with perfume, I am such a sucker for beautiful packaging. 
And I'm not gonna lie, that was one of the things that drew me toward this house and really made me want a cupcake. And I'm just so happy with this one, you guys. Like, I couldn't be more thrilled. I honestly, it feels like I'm in a dream. Like, I know that seems weird, but for a lot of, I guess, more lucky or privileged people who can just go to these stores anytime and experience these bottles, for me, that is just not possible. It is totally out of my way to be able to ever experience this house. So the fact that I'm holding a cupcake in my hand right now, I'm just so grateful and I just absolutely love it so much. All right, so let's get into how she smells and how she wears. So the notes that are in here are tangerine and cinnamon in the opening. In the middle, you have peony, rose, and cedar. And in the base, you have vanilla, musk, and amber. So like I said, based on those notes, you guys, I never would have blind purchased this perfume. Reading the notes, reading the reviews, hearing people talk about it, I never would have guessed that this would be one I would want. Um, I definitely would have gone with something else, like I said, like Benevolence or Whispers of Truth, and I will be reviewing both of those perfumes on this channel as well coming up because I do have travel sizes of those perfumes. Um, but this was the one that once I actually got it on my skin and wore it, and tested it, I knew that this was one. I knew that this was perfect for me. All right, so I do have it on a piece of paper here, and I do need to get some more perfume tester strips, um, but I ordered some from Amazon, and for some reason the order was canceled. I don't know why, so we're stuck using pieces of paper from the house. Um, okay, so first I wanna say that on paper, it smells very different than it does when you actually wear it. That's something that I have learned in the last couple of years, you guys, that has been so, incredibly helpful for me and it seems like it would be obvious but you have to actually wear a perfume on your skin and you have to actually give it a wear and see how it feels when you wear the perfume to really know how you feel about it versus just spraying it on paper spraying it in the box and making a quick decision about the perfume because had i just put this on paper i would have probably dismissed it it wasn't until i actually put it on skin to see how it wore um, that i completely fell in love with this perfume so when you first spray it it does come across um, a little bit sweet and fruity. You do get a tiny bit of a spice, not too much from that cinnamon. You also get this peony. Peony is actually one of my favorite flowers because it's just effortless and elegant and pretty. So as this perfume starts to evolve and change a little bit on the skin, it becomes a little bit more vanillic and there is a little bit of a depth to it, but it kind of retains that beautiful, sparkling, sort of fruity, floral freshness throughout. And this is what I would describe as a sweet sweet floral kind of a princess perfume and maybe I'm a little bit biased because of the name of the perfume being tiara but this literally smells like something a princess would wear it is just light beautiful a little bit sweet very floral very classic very elegant very effortless this is a perfume you could wear as a signature scent but it's also one you could just grab and go and throw on on a typical day in the spring and summer when you just want to smell pretty you don't want to think too hard about your perfume that's one thing that i will say about some of the fragrances from house of siage for example passion de l'amour I actually really liked that one. That one was a raspberry oud vanilla and it was really nice, but it was a perfume that kind of was like more of an occasion perfume. I would have only worn it certain occasions. I probably would have only grabbed for it in the evening, dates out, nights out, things like that. And I wanted something that I could wear on a regular basis, anytime, anywhere, every day, something that was wearable. For me, that was really, really important when deciding what cupcake was right for me. I didn't want just a beautiful bottle sitting on my shelf, something that I wouldn't reach for. I wanted some Something that I would be able to throw on and wear all the time and really get my money's worth and really get my use um, out of this fragrance because otherwise it's just very expensive decor and that's not what I wanted from House of Siage. One thing that I will say about Tiara is that you really do have to put it on your skin and wear it outside the house. When you just spray this on paper and wear it inside the house, it comes across a little bit not that exciting. <laughs> like it's not that exciting. It just smells like a nice, inoffensive, pretty, um, peony fragrance, like a slightly sweet, vanillic, little bit fruity, little bit spicy, musky peony fragrance. It just is not that exciting or that special in the house, in your living room, in your bedroom, on your skin. When I wore this outside, you guys, I kept getting these beautiful wafts of something sweet and sparkling and vibrant and airy and pretty and feminine. And I was like, what am I wearing? Like, what is that? And I was testing two perfumes at the time. I had another House of Siage on my left arm and I had this one on my right arm. And I lifted both of my arms up to my face to see what was I smelling? Like, what's giving me this beautiful, sparkling, vibrant, feminine scent? And it was Tiara. 
um, this is the one. And so right from that moment, I just knew that this was the one for me. And I had tested quite a few of them on my skin. Um, and there was a couple that I thought, mm, maybe this is the right one for me. But no, this was the one that without a doubt, once I actually wore it, I knew that this was the one for me. And it smells so much better on skin and it smells so much better when you actually wear it outside and catch it on fresh air. Let me know if you can relate, but once you catch a perfume on fresh air, that's when you truly get the essence of the fragrance. If you just spray it on your skin in your house, you're going to be clouded. You're going to be, you know, it's going to be mixing with the air that's already in your home and it's not gonna give you a true sensation. You really have to catch it on the fresh air and feel and experience that sillage coming up to your face in order to really get an idea for how the perfume is gonna wear and what you're going to get from it when you actually wear the perfume. So like I said, just to put it on paper in the house, a little bit lackluster, like it wasn't a wow factor. Honestly, I thought that Passion de l'Amour would come out on top for me and as it turned out, this is the one. It's fresh, it's feminine, it's pretty, it's elegant, it's classy, it's wearable for all the time, not something that you're going to get and it's just going to sit on the shelf and you're not going to feel like you can wear it. It's very approachable and at the same time it's just effortlessly beautiful. It's just incredibly likable and easy and beautiful and the name tiara perfectly suits it because i do think that it is fit for a princess or just any any girl who just wants to smell elegant and pretty and effortless i don't know how anybody could not like it um so i think this is also a great quote-unquote starter perfume from house of siage if you want to you know you really want one of these bottles you want to invest in something you want something beautiful that is going to be really likable i honestly think you would be hard pressed to find someone who didn't think it was nice this is a great one to start with because it's not going to be challenging and i don't think it's polarizing either something like benevolence that one has the whole like orange blossom neroli caramel love don't be shy quality to it it's a little bit lighter and softer and more sparkling than love don't be shy but more on that in another video but that one might be polarizing because not everybody likes love don't be shy me included um i can't wear love don't be shy and something like passion de l'amour Yes, it gets a ton of hype, but it's also an oud fragrance and it's a very deep fragrance and it's also a raspberry and some people don't like raspberry. Some people don't like oud. This one I feel is just perfect. It's really not polarizing at all. You've got that vanilla, which people love. You've got the freshness and the fruitiness. You've got the floral quality. You've got the muskiness. It's a perfect everyday feminine fragrance. And, um, and at the same time, there's something special about it. It's sparkling. It's vibrant. It's um, it's just beautiful, just beautiful. I just fell in love with this perfume, just fell in love with it. So I'm super, super excited to have my very first ever cupcake. That is Tiara. Like I said, definitely make sure that you are subscribed. If you want to see my thoughts on the entire rest of the house of Siage fragrances, I will be doing a top five and I will be reviewing all of the most popular ones as well, as well as the Harry Potter, the Minnie and Mickey Mouse, etc etc and that is it for today's video so that was it for today's video you guys i hope that you enjoyed hearing my thoughts on tiara from house of siage and i hope to see you all very soon in my next one bye for now mm -hmm.